Man, listen, Woody Johnson of Johnson & Johnson couldn't put a bandage on this problem with these two and three Jets. Bro, they fired Robert Sala. You think it's justified? He did have, what, it was a 36% win percentage. It wasn't no great season, but he really didn't have a quarterback last year, a quarterback the year before, and then this year, and was not playing well, man. Is it justified? Look, you can say he didn't have a quarterback last year, a quarterback this year. What I see is you had a guy you took early and a young Zach Wilson. His performances, were, they weren't great. And then you have a legendary guy and, and Aaron Rodgers. I, th I think in five games, they both have uh, scored 93 points. So it comes back to me. I have to question the offensive production. We know what that defense can do, but the offensive production is, 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 is so mediocre. Right, and that's not always the head coach. Then you got to take a step further and say, who's designing the system? Who's calling the plays? And Nathaniel Hackett has been the guy calling the plays. I know Nathaniel from down in Jacksonville, uh, two years down in Jacksonville. He goes up to Green Bay, has some success with Aaron Rodgers. That's his protection blanket. We'll come back to that. He goes out to Denver, one year as a head coach. When was the last time you see a guy other than Urban Meyer become a head coach for one season. Usually they, 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 they have that three-year minimum and they sort of fall down, and they don't fall too far because they're protected. You go from head coach to maybe coordinator, which is what he did eventually. He lands in New York. New York has been, again, mediocre. They brought in Aaron Rodgers looking for that relationship and that chemistry, and it has not worked. Last year, Aaron was injured. You gave him a pass. You say, all right, wrong foot, bad things happen. This year, the same thing, a lot of the same. What we saw under Zach Wilson, we're seeing more of what we're seeing with uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers, who's in common. The one common denominator is Nathaniel Hackett. They said Sala was going to go in there, fire Hackett. Uh, they protected him. Johnson, whoever in the front office, they decided to protect him because they wanted to maintain that Rodgers relationship. A-Rod, legend in this game, he has a lot of pull. and. To me, it seems that Salah is the potential escape goal here, and um, he's sinking with this ship. 20 and 36 isn't sexy. Uh, the timing is questionable, so I don't know, Channing. I don't, I don't know if it's justified, but these are just the things that sort of uh, put me in the mindset of why he's been fired. Uh, I think it possibly could have been Hackett instead of Salah. Man, be careful what you wish for. We're talking about a team in the Jets that you feel like has been right there on the cusp, this championship caliber defense since Robert Sala's been the coach. And we always said they got to get a quarterback, got to get a quarterback, got to get a quarterback. Well, you, go, you went and got a quarterback. You got the quarterback that you could get on the market, and you handed him the keys, right? You did none of what Bruce Arians did to Tom Brady. When Tom Brady didn't play well, who was the greatest quarterback of all time, had won six championships at that time. Bruce Arians would talk about that publicly. Bruce Arians would go in the building and say, Tom Brady has to play better. Bruce Arians would sit in a press conference and say, Tom Brady has to play better. And a lot of us on the outside questioned it. Like, oh, you, you talking to the GOAT like that? But what happens? You go win a championship, and yeah, they did build things around Tom with Gronk. You go get A.B. The same things they were doing in New York, but Aaron Rodgers runs New York, right? Not Jay-Z, not Biggie back in the day. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers runs New York, and I'm talking about the building. Is it any coincidence it's two weeks after Aaron Rodgers pushes Robert Sala off, right? It's a week after they go into the press conference after the game and they talking about having to change cadence or not use cadence or switch up the operation. Nah. And is it coincidence that they were talking about Nathaniel Hackett may have been fired if Robert Sala wasn't fired? And like they always say, right, bro, it's better to be thought of as a fool than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. Mm. Robert Sala always had the benefit of the doubt because we said he didn't have a quarterback. How do we know he got a quarterback now? The last I checked, it was two minutes left to go in the game. You're down six points. Six of those points, Aaron Rodgers gives up on a pick six. You got one of the best quarterbacks of all time with the ball in his hands in the red zone. He throws a ball that gets tipped. He throws a ball that misses Garrett Wilson by 15 yards, and Garrett Wilson is wide open, and he throws a pick. That ain't Robert Sala. Robert Sala's not doing that, and I'm actually not defending him. If you're 20 and 36 and you get fired, people can't defend you based on your record. Mm -hmm. They can't. But when you give somebody the keys, right, when somebody can say, I'm going to plan a trip to another country during minicamp, do what you want to do. When you do that for someone, 
and they fall out with you and they have the name and they're going to get the gold jacket and they have the attitude and they got the contract that you got to be stuck with and they got the cachet, that's who stays in the building. And what Robert Sala saw is, yeah, man, in life, big bank take big, big little bank, big name take little name. Mm-hmm. You ask for him, you got him. He doesn't seem to rock with you, so you ain't got no job. But I'm going to say this. I don't care what the relationship is. I don't care what the tenure is. Don't escort me out with security. I ain't no criminal. <laughs> I ain't threatening nobody. I ain't put hands on people. I've been here trying to do my job respectfully. And for a man like Robert Sala, who has the kids that he's had, who has been in that building, man, who have been ball boys during training camp, let him leave with some dignity. Don't disrespect people in that manner. It's a football team. It is not the dang United States White House or government. RC. And I feel like that's foul. RC, know your personnel. Nobody's escorting Marv Levy or I go, nobody's escorting Mike McDaniel out of that building because they can't cause no damage. They knew the conversations behind the scene. When I say escorted, I saw escorted out, bro. I was like, they escorted him out. I was surprised by that. Like, well, no, bro, you fired. Like, we appreciate your efforts for them to escort him out. It's something, I don't know if it's gonna come out or not come out, but bro, to that point, it's something behind the scenes. There's some relationships that were broken there for them to feel as if they need to escort this man out of the building. I feel the same way you do. This is all business. We're grown men, we're businessmen. Escort me out of the building, mean that you thought I might do something on the way out of the building. So that's why I know it's some relationship broken with this Jet situation. Hey guys, you know what's worse than this, man? We see guys that we love and look up to, guys that we admire for what they do for the game, overstay their welcome. A-Rod is done. I, I believe he's done. I, Joe it's Flacco, early, Joe it's, Flacco. It's too early in the season. Joe Flacco is playing, look, his last year in Green Bay, last year injury, you gave him a pass, but this year, it's, it's all over the place. RC just said he overthrew young Garrett Wilson, who's fast as all out. How do you overthrow him? How do you throw it on the sideline where he's wide open again? So he's not connecting. I don't know what it is with A-Rod, but I, I don't want to use the term washed, but I, I think it's time to really call it a career. And age ain't yet, I don't believe his age. Cause look at Joe Flacco, he'll be 40 in six months. And he's playing phenomenal, even last year. So shambles in New York, I don't know what they're gonna do.